Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on gastroscosis versus omphalocele. Gastroscosis is an abdominal wall defect, not involving the umbilicus, through which intestinal contents have herniated. In contrast to omphalocele, the bowel is not covered by peritoneum or amniotic membrane. This picture shows a gastroscosis versus omphalocele. For gastroscosis, prolonged contact with the amniotic fluid typically causes a thick, exudative covering on the exposed bowel. Gastroscosis is not associated with extraintestinal anomalies, but segments of intestinal atresia are common. Gastroscosis is usually detected during prenatal ultrasound examinations, and it requires surgical intervention shortly after birth to return the organs to the abdominal cavity and close the abdominal wall. The exact cause of gastroscosis is not fully understood, but it is believed to involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors. After surgical reduction of the defect, return of normal bowel function may be slow, and requires prolonged parenteral nutrition for infants with long atretic segments, short bowel syndrome, and infants with a thick peel. Another similar condition is omphalocele. Omphalocele is an abdominal wall defect through the umbilicus, caused by failure of the intestine to return to the abdomen during fetal life. The bowel remains within the umbilical cord, and is covered by peritoneum and amniotic membranes. This defect is associated with other congenital anomalies, especially cardiac defects, beckwith weedman syndrome, and intestinal complications. Treatment is surgical closure, which sometimes must be performed in stages to fit the bowel into a congenitally small abdominal cavity. That's all for this video. Thank you.